Life science doesn't really fit into most of the venture models. You need long-term uh, plans. And there we have to speak with the media to show the positive stories about this industry. Companies are, are standing in the so-called valley of death. Sweden Bio is dedicated to serving the interests of its members in the Swedish life science industry. Together they're working to create a new golden age in which Sweden once again will figure as one of the top nations in the world of life science. Sweden Bio was born in the aftermath of the golden age of the Swedish pharmaceutical industry, a period when this small nation boasted two global pharmaceutical giants and a flourishing life science industry. The 1990s brought major structural changes and suddenly there was just one very large and several hundred small life science companies. The fragmented state of the industry brought about the birth of Sweden Bio. It has uh, been very inspiring in, the, in that sense. Among Sweden Bio's tasks is to act as a coordinating organ for the industry and maintain a healthy and positive climate for its members to operate in. A crucial brief here is to create a better understanding of the industry among decision makers, opinion builders, as well as the lay public. We are also working a lot uh, with the companies themselves, giving them trainings, but also offer it, offering them concrete tools to get more visible. Other tasks include helping pave the way to international opportunities and facilitating contact between academics and the business minds who can help them turn their research work into commercially viable operations. Which brings us to perhaps the most vital issue of all, financing. As it is now, it's quite easy to find financing uh, and seed financing in the beginning of uh, a journey of developing something new. But then there's a gap when you reach the critical cli clinical phases. And there uh, it's harder for the companies to find financing. Companies are, are standing in the so-called valley of death where you, you're not, you do not yet have a product on, on the market. To be able to generate startup companies to be bigger companies, it's, it's essential to, uh, to solve the financing uh, question as well, since life science doesn't really fit into most of the venture models that uh, exist for other businesses. Maria Forsch is one of the entrepreneurial driving forces behind drug developers Dual Court, who are taking their groundbreaking hydrocortisone dual release tablet to market. This drug is a great improvement on glucocorticoid replacement therapy for chronic adrenal insufficiency patients who suffer higher than expected mortality and other long-term side effects. In life science, the road from launching a concept to market is indeed both long and complex. When you start that kind of activity, you need long-term uh, plans and long-term visions on, on uh, how to make this endeavor sustainable over, over the years. And as you don't, seldom are capable of exactly predicting what will come out, you have to be kind of, um, uh, you have to adjust over, the, uh, over time. And that usually means that it will take even longer time to get the product out in the market. And that requires finan financial strength and, and sustainability of those that finance the activities. Tool and solution providers Gyros have been highly successful in developing their GyroLab technology platform and system that's established the company as a world leader in automated microimmunoassays for therapeutic protein development. Their approach enables dramatically faster assay development, requires far fewer samples, far less hands-on lab work and improves data quality. Another company, which has steadily and rapidly by life science standards negotiated the tricky path to success, are Galenica, experts in pharmaceutical formulation. From substance, they offer testing, development and formulation services, right through to clinical trials, under good manufacturing practice standards. Apart from their breadth, Galenica have built up a rock-solid reputation for keeping to schedule, as well as for their flexibility and industrial quality of the services they offer. Sweden Bio's members represent the entire gamut of the life science field. Most go about their work without making the headlines. But when they do, the news is more often than not negative, which has tended to tarnish the industry's image. What can Sweden Bio do about that? There we have to speak with the media to show the positive stories about this industry. But especially in this one, because it's so close to you as a human and you want to treat a human being. And if you do something bad in this industry, of course it's much more close to you. 
but there's so many good stories as well, and those are the ones that are so important to, to perceive. The golden age of Sweden's life science industry is dead. Long live the new golden age of life science in Sweden. Or are we jumping the gun a bit? There are still a number of obstacles to overcome. How are they going to manage that? It's complicated. And there again it goes back to, to educating, lobbying, to, to uh, explain what the industry is about, how many people are engaged in it, what it does, how long it takes to develop a drug, what is needed, how much money do we need to reach the market, how much money can Sweden get back by exporting these great ideas in the future. That is what we have to explain. Thank you.